What up, squad? Welcome back to the channel, guys. In today's video, we are reacting to the Ohio State football spring game from this past weekend. A lot of new faces, a lot of transfers. The squad is looking nice, man, on paper. Now it's just time to see what they could do on the field. It is a spring game, so I'm not expecting too much, man. But the first thing I want to say is I want to I want to see what these quarterbacks can do. We got a stable of quarterbacks. But are they going to win the city games? The college football go. season this year is longer than ever. So it is very fitting that on this spectacular Z. April Saturday in Columbus, we here on Fox start our college football. In the shoe, baby. Let's go. As we ever have. Ryan Day and the Buckeyes filing in. So here we go. This is your game format. Listen, man, I love spring football. Are, I love you know, spring saying, football. Oh, I, want I wish I was at this game. High key. I was to looking to see if we could go. It just didn't like work out, team man. Team I'm a big Buckeye fan. Well. It'd be dope to go to the shoe, especially for ten dollars alone. So he gets the. First All right. So I want to see, man. Will Howard transfer in from Kansas Will State. Howard, who battled for the starting quarterback spot at Kansas State. He understands this situation. I mean, let's see what he can do. The Chip Kelly is going to bring to this offense. All right, man. Is, uh, expanded run game. Biz, now. what's and good, Ohio Joe? Always had dynamic nice completion at a uh, G. Scott. I wish you would let him a little bit more. Very business school of depreciating asset rating. Yeah, can, can I get it? Okay. I, so the RPO is cool. I mean, <laughs> I feel like we're going to run a lot of RPOs this year. Third down for Will Howard. That the defense. Did get there. Jack Sawyer. And Buckeye fans. Coach and Meyer JTT. To see that. Low key, I'm worried, though. Low key, I'm worried because that right side of the offensive line is going to be. Oh, it's going to be. We're going to be in trouble. We're going to be in trouble. What does RPO mean? Run pass option. A lot this year from guys like Jack Sawyer. So we saw Lincoln Keenholz. In the Cotton Bowl, in back of Devin Brown, he's the guy that gets the second. Oh, so series. he's so he's gonna be the, the second string guy. Okay, that was a sack. He's got a chance to be special. He really does. Mm. I think we're most young men right, let's at see, man. this age. So I, I understand what comes along with that. Yeah, that, hey, our defensive line is gonna be crazy. Gonna tear up college football, in my opinion. Our D line is gonna Devin be insane. Devin Brown now gets the third series. For Ohio State, the guy who has been here longest. All right, Devin Brown, the, the quarterback that we're wearing is 33. Intricacy <laughs> right now, and just the program itself. Chip Kelly, Dan Mullen, and, and Ryan Day. Play action. It There's another history. sack there. A long way back. So Devin Brown in the offense with some movement downfield here. Coach, All right, I mean that's cool. Like, how you evaluate your guys, Will and, and Devin? In, in a thud tempo style, what are you what are you looking at? Yeah, it's it's the zone schedule, and then also like how do they convert on third down? Play action. You know, and I think like right here, that's a big third down pickup. That's a good call. That's a good ball, Devin. I'll zone, say this, like, man. Devin looked good um, for a little bit there in that in the bowl game, uh, but then when he got hurt, it was like, oh lord, who who are we going to next? Um, Prime was good, man. Uh, so it's good to see him getting some reps here in spring ball, but I'm interested to see the two freshman quarterbacks, man. We got the kid that transferred in from Alabama and we got Aaron Nolan. Those are the two QBs I want to see. I want to see how he's going to react. Not a runner. I wasn't much of a runner, but when I got in the red zone, believe me, I was looking to take off if I could. Third down. On no the receivers roll. getting open. Devin Brown. No receivers getting open there for him. This defense, I think we've learned in the first couple series. First team defense is going to be nice. Bonsu, who took him to the paint. And now we see the depth of the quarterback room. Another Alabama transfer officially, Julian Sane. As he drops it off for T.C. Caffey. Yeah, this is the freshman from Alabama. He transferred Third from Alabama. Sane climbing the pocket, and the walls collapse again, Joel. You saw Will Howard with his hands to his head. They're testing out the whole thing. That's the kid right there, though. I'm going to tell you football. right now. Number four for Ohio State. I want you guys to remember this name, Jeremiah Smith. This dude is going to be a problem. I'm going to say it now. In two years, two years, his junior year, because he's not going to get registered this year. He will play as a true freshman. In two years, his junior year, he'll be the best wide receiver in the country. But, like, maybe... Maybe even a number one draft pick. That's how good this kid is going to be. 
lot to talk about with the iPads over on the sideline as well and rules about that. And Marvin Good to see him getting first team reps, so that's pretty dope. Those, certainly. Jenny, I was going to say, he looked very serious Mecca. as you were standing there talking to a Mecca, and that's how all business he was. He just walked away because he had to put his helmet on. Uh, obviously, the parents, the families are phenomenal. All right, man, let's open it up. Let me see. Oh, this is the other kid from Ole Miss. Oh, he looks shifty. What are you looking for today? You got Jenkins. Veterans, right? Junkins? Junkins. It's scary stuff. That's what it allowed he looks him shifty. to be. Hold on. An NFL caliber wide receiver, too, is, is all the little things, how detailed he was, and he shares that and brings that to the way he coaches I want to see. I want to see Junkins run this again. Look how shifty this dude is, man. Nice cut. What are you looking for today? Because you got some. Okay. Listen, I think we're gonna have we're gonna have two really good running backs this year, man. Henderson and Junkins. Good one-two punch. Hold the ball too long. Brings that to the way he coaches up these young men. You can see why. Did you make Bobby Boucher yet? No, not yet. There you go, Travion. Oh no, you're tripping. That's a touchdown. There was old guy after old guy. Oh, that was a touchdown. And they become selfish players about beginning the ball. Play action. That becomes every young player is selfish. If you have oh, 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 my. Oh, my goodness. Oh, God. What wow. a catch. A. I think I would be pretty selfish. Yo. Veteran players about beginning the ball. You got to be kidding me. Every young player is selfish. If you have veteran players. Wow. Oh, my. my goodness. Oh, Wow! Wow! Make a catch like that, I, I think I would be pretty selfish. <laughs> Dog, this Joel, receiver you know, is crazy. If you can, you got I don't need two hands, like coach. That. I can do it with one. From Pause. Level from down here, that that ball looks ridiculous. like a borderline. What a throw catch! Away. And then he goes up like that one-handed. What a remarkable staff changes. Uh, Joel, I believe you've got Chip Kelly in a moment here. All right, Sands back in. I think. Standing with uh, Chip Kelly. That's no, that's not saying that's right there. So the other kid. Well, that's, oh, he almost got out of there. It's obviously a great fit because of the former pupil ran over here. That's right. We got Chip Kelly as our OC calls. now. He said, no, no more of that play. Pick. Oh, oh. that's a terrible ball. The play wasn't working. That was a good call by him. There we go. Good decision by, by <laughs> Diddy, you just never know. Fella. Much more involved in defense and special teams as well. Yeah, there's no question. You, you and I have talked about that. I think you're exactly right. I mean, QB keeper here. Age, Andrew does not look fast at all. going on. I just think it's so free some of that time up. And especially as your roster build, right? I mean, the roster build. Like oh, good catch. December, you think about early December good catch. For, for you or any head coach around the country. Yeah, and right. coach the important thing in today's day and age. And I think that, you know, here we've done that. And that's been the support of so many people. Certainly the players coming back and the culture. That's that right. Keep fighting for yours, man. Fight for your butt. Fight for your money. Basically, far sideline to near sideline. Is that air? That's exactly what happened. Oh, take it's it to the crib. So take it to the crib. Has a go, go, take it to the crib, baby. In the ball game, they're going to blow it dead. Let's Jay go. House call. Doesn't care about it. He's going to the house because he wants to. That whole side doesn't care. Look at him. <laughs> Come on, man. All the great team down there. I was, was saying that through that. might have knocked it out a little bit, but it's just a tad late to be man. Something, again, you're accustomed to saying. Best in America. Freshman out there, new offense. Yep. Wait a minute, he's going to have to sit with that, right? He doesn't have a ton of experiences here at Ohio State, so that's that's Good his ball. knowledge of what he did in this game. And now, Jude Mitchell with the catch a moment ago. That for Patrick Gerd and Lincoln Keenan. I, I think our to defense is going to be good. I'm, I got concerns. They used a timeout, 24 seconds. Should be the final drive of this first did half. Did they take a, a team pick big game? David they sure Adolf did. His... I thought you'd get to that before I did. We were close. Another pick. To the God, sideline. Talk these quarterbacks. To a defensive player. It's Inky Jones. Great name. Great name. Check Shout out to Inky. Oh, it's tight end break. slip. Otherwise, that, the ball was actually. Way to get your feet in bounds, though. Way to get your feet in bounds, young man. Inky, in Inky. You challenge that, Coach Meyer. Yeah, if I'm Coach D, I'm just looking at the clock. Let's get this yeah. bad boy going. <laughs> Again, having a guy go from being a few plays away Good to ball. one play away, and then all of a sudden thrust it in as your starter at quarterback. That's why these reps right yeah, now Kool -Aid are, are, hilarious, saying, are incredible. But again, with the length of this season, we're talking about a national Play championship game out quick, tight end. on January the 20th. Joel. Yeah, I'm interested so to see what Chip Kelly can do with this offense, man. He's going to have a lot of firepower this year. Step into a letter rip. There you go. First and goal. Easy throws. That should be changed. But 
it also brings up, you know, depth that we've talked about, but also Easy the throws. nature of who's having success, not only in college football, but even think about the NCAA tournament in men's basketball. Yeah, we should be able to Got throw him. this one right behind him. Wow, oh, boy. He's I'll power your way. Off. Push the pile. Get it to the end zone, baby. Toddy. Come on, man. Run that rock. Oh, here goes my boy. This is guy. I like this kid, man. The quarterback is going to be Aaron, Aaron Nolan. Oh, man. Got it. Oh. Untouched. Great blocking by the offensive line here. Watch this huge run lane for him. Just opens up. Good run here. Right down the middle. Yes, sir. Touchdown, Sam Williams Dixon, the freshman from Pickerington. Might be next in line. Love the memories, man. College football, oh, like great. no matter what it, this turns got into. Got it again. It's nice all run lane. In the end. Uh, for Sam First Williams down, Dixon, good run. For this day for a while, you'd have to imagine. That's something that you added when I you were I uh, Hopefully they show Eric throwing the ball a little that, bit. That uh, tradition you started. Yeah, it was actually started in 2001 at Bowling Green. I just wanted to have, you know, you, we don't believe in hazing, but you want to also have people earn their passage. That's a, you know, they, that a is a hilarious statement from Coach. Coach knows that. Third down at six here for the offense. Air. Final play of quarter number three. Oh, Nolan for Air, no, I think Aaron Nolan for Ohio right State is going to be like the future of the school. <laughs> it's a multitasking. He can throw uh, it and he can Meyer, run too. You have friends everywhere in this place. Don't Get in there, big fella. Get oh, oh, oh. great friends. Toddy, weight room. Here we go, Air. Put up one more. Yeah, we'll see it all the way through the season. I saw one of Mercedes Benz once. I didn't see the M. Come on, Aaron, one more. Uh, you think it depends on the roll out. Direct. Oh, I'm rolling back this way. This is a long skirt, skirt. way to go for Air Nolan. Oh, picked off. To uh oh. And instead, uh oh, go to the crib. Griffin, who was called hey. for the penalty earlier. Nah, you take it to the crib. He wants to run all the way to Cleveland, and he's just the whole keep squad running with him. Win. The great team together Toddy. down the side. Hey, thanks for watching. <laughs> if you I'll say this, man. I think. Ohio State has uh, some solid players that br they're bringing back. I think they brought in some really good transfers, uh, but I do have concerns. Quarterback is going to be main is the main concern. Will Howard uh, played at Kansas State, played a lot at Kansas State, but is he going to be ready to play in a in a tougher Big Ten uh, than what he's used to in the Big Twelve? And and you know Big Ten is going to get tougher this year because they're adding all the Pac twelve teams. So uh, it's going to be an interesting year. I think the defense, we've got – I think everybody's coming back. I think all 11 players came back di just for this season. Uh, so I'm excited to see what the defense could do. I'm excited for the backfield and the wide receivers. Now if we can just get the quarterback and the offensive line to gel and, and become one, Ohio State's going to be scary, man.